there everyone. Um, so if you're like me and you enjoy painting or doing art of some sort, it might be doodling or working with acrylics, you've probably got a drawer full of things that you've done like these paintings which were done as exercises and they're not really things that you're going to frame but also you don't really want to throw them away. So why not turn them into a journal um, where you can still look at them but they're in one place and they don't take up as much space and you will be able to enjoy them. If they're not paintings that you enjoy then you can work over them. So I'd like to show you what I've done here. I've taken a whole lot of my old paintings and I've bound them with Coptic binding stitch which is this stitch here. You can see that the spines of the books are um, exposed which is really nice. It means that when the pages are open they lie flat and because each signature will be exposed I've covered that with some um, plain coloured card so that it just adds to the detail. The cover of my book I've used at, um, is fabric just because I really had this pretty fabric but the inside pages are done with scrapbooking paper and I've got really long ribbon because if I want to add into the book um, it might get fatter. So what I've done here is I've got some plain pages, I've got some watercolours that are incomplete, um, I've put in some plain card that I can draw on, I've used some vellum or tracing paper so that if I wanted to do something maybe like overlay something for this particular painting I could. A lot of these paintings are just rejects but um, they do offer you the opportunity to come in either with your watercolours and complete them or to use mixed medium to be able to finish them. So that is the one. The second is this book here, which is a very much larger one. Again, I've used Coptic binding stitch here so that I can bind it all together. And the inside cover of this book, I've actually made handmade paper. And this is done on 160 grams card and it's done with paint. So please look out for my other videos which I'll be showing you how to make these kind of papers, hand decorated papers for scrapbooking which are acid free and also for your journaling. And so because this particular book doesn't have um, a uniform size page, I've just taken some um, 30 by 30 scrapbooking paper and folded it in half. You can see it's not exactly the same size as the page but it doesn't matter. Again some vellum some of these paintings I have masked out the people with masking fluid so you can see that that comes off quite easily. So now I'm able to go back into this picture and start to fiddle around um, either with some pens or perhaps maybe watercolour, I'm not sure. But there are a lot of designs, this is just, I often work on the back of a piece of paper and that is just one where the picture is upside down, that's just the way it was. And yeah, lots of opportunities now to come in and work. Aquarel pencils would work really, really nicely. You could gesso this paper. But for me, this is, um, I work on 300 grams watercolor paper. And to just throw it all into the bin wasn't something I really wanted to do. So I've actually now got an opportunity to either continue with the painting or to change it up. I could use it for some journaling. This was where I experimented with putting salt onto some of the wet paint. It gets quite a nice effect. It's not quite a, what I wanted for the trees, but nevertheless, an opportunity to play. And so you'll see that um, this is a nice way of actually using the paper that you've already got. So these were just some um, low-cost houses near to me. So again, I've used masking fluid here, which will come off to reveal where I want to paint the grasses. So this one for sure I'm going to come in with pen and ink because there's quite a lot of detail to be added in here and um, yeah I think I'd like to come in with pen and ink and just do this as mixed media. So I hope this has given you an inspiration just to take your old paintings, bind them up together using some Coptic stitch. There are lovely tutorials where you can find how to do that and to take your old art pieces which you would normally just have lying in a drawer and do something that is practical with them and put them in a book where you can actually enjoy them later on as well. Um, bye for now. Oh, by the way, I did do a lovely little video on a flip flap journal. I found this really very cool piece of card and I think that you might enjoy that too. So please subscribe to my channel so that you keep up to date with all these wacky ideas. And um, I'd love to hear from you, your comments 
and so please just let me know what you think about this and if there's anything else you'd like me to teach you in the future because I have a wealth of knowledge and I'm happy to share. Bye for now.